for Sally Showman this week. And uh, Joseph, we don't have to worry about snow down here. No snow down here. Yeah, matter of fact, things are going to get warmer up there too. But it was this uh, pretty much this time last week where we had a winter weather advisory yeah. up there. So That's right. I'm yeah. not surprised that there's still going to be some snow up there. It is getting warmer today. We're kind of uh, moving in that direction. We're starting off chilly though. 50 degrees in Portland and Vancouver at 44 degrees. We have some cloud coverage out there, but it's going to be out of here by the time we get into the afternoon. Skibania at 49 right now. The coast at 49 as well. Look at that beautiful shot there coming out of seaside. Most of the neighborhoods about the mid 40s to about 50 degrees. Lake Oswego right now at 50 and Westland at 47. Heading over here, uh, we got Gresham at 44 and Troutdale at 51. So again, if you're going to be out for an early morning walk or maybe take the dog outside, just be prepared for temperatures uh, a little more chilly as we're heading out the door. It warms up nicely by the afternoon, 62 degrees by lunchtime. I think the clouds are pretty much exiting by that time. The high pressure is going to start moving in. We'll be warming up to about 74, 75 degrees by this afternoon. I think we'll see an abundance of sunshine and blue sky as we get to the, the afternoon hours. This area of low pressure that's spiraling here over in Canada, it's going to bring in some backdoor precipitation, maybe a couple of thunderstorms this afternoon and evening for the east side of the state. So we'll continue to monitor that as we go through the day. You'll want to catch up here at noon. So the coastal forecast in the 60s, mostly sunny afternoon, just a few passing clouds, mid 70s here through the Willamette Valley, all the way down to about Corvallis. Expect the sunshine to continue there. 66 for Pendleton, 59 for Baker City, cooler. And watch out for those isolated thunderstorms. Those can come passing through the North Cas uh, Cascades here in Oregon. Uh, 70s for the gorge and then up towards the government camp right around 60 degrees. So here's the hour by hour. We kind of just top, talked about where we're going to top off. Uh, stay into about the mid 60s by 1 o'clock. So there's that nice dry time. We're going to have uh, good outdoor weather if you just want to go outside and kind of hang out. But the other side of the state is going to have to watch out for some passing showers and some pop-up thunderstorms. And I'll have updates as we go through the day today. I'll, I'll be here for midday too. Here's 630 for our Thursday. Uh, temperatures in the 70s and 60s. So cooler on the east side of the state for today. You're still dealing with that kind of debris from that uh, upper low pressure. We get to Friday about 80 degrees. It warms up real nice come Friday and that's the start of our Memorial Day weekend. I think we stay away from the precipitation for the whole weekend. So seven day forecast 83 degrees on Friday, 86 on Saturday and then it keeps on warming up from there. Look at that near 90 degrees on Sunday, a high of 89 on Monday, 89 as well. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday temperatures still in the 80s. Uh, just really nice, comfortable weather as we go through uh, the week. Uh, besides this Memorial Day weekend where it's going to get a little hot. Wow. Yeah, Monday and uh, Sunday look really hot. I won't be surprised if we actually top off at 90, but uh, for now, we'll keep us in the upper 80s. Mm. All right, yeah. 90 is a little too hot for some people. A, a lot hot, of people, yeah. yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Joseph.